The use of specialized machinery is an integral part of modern construction. But what are the purposes behind creating the following specimens? Giant cranes, bulldozers and asphalt pavers of incredible dimensions. In this video, we will discuss just that. And at the end of the clip, you'll find out about a unique construction machine successfully developed by engineers but never used for its intended purpose. Liebherr LR13000 Crawler Crane Since 2009, the German-Swiss company Liebherr has assembled at least five specimens of this behemoth. The LR13000 is the world's most powerful traditional-style crawler crane. It has a lifting capacity of 3,000 tons and a maximum lifting height of 236 meters. The primary application for this giant is in power plant construction, where the lifting of extreme individual weights is a constant requirement. Additionally, at oil refineries, there are tasks involving the installation of industrial columns weighing 1,500 tons and measuring 100 meters in length. Each crane of this model is valued at approximately 2.5 billion rubles, 27 million dollars, and none of the five existing specimens is currently sitting idle. Transporting a crawler crane of such grand proportions is no easy task, as its speed is a mere 1.5 km per hour. It is disassembled like a colossal puzzle, with each part weighing 70 tons, and then shipped to where it's needed, only to be assembled on site. This ease of assembly is a significant achievement credited to the developers. Furthermore, the LR13000, unique among crawler cranes of its class, can operate without a derrick ballast, which is a special additional load for stability. This is possible due to its ability to withstand very high loads on the turntable, specially designed by Liebherr engineers for this purpose. GOMECO C650F Concrete Paver there are also enormous concrete paving machines. The cylindrical finisher GOMECO C650F is powerful and versatile equipment used in concrete construction on both flat and sloping surfaces. This means it's ideal for a wide range of projects, including laying concrete on streets, highways, construction sites, parking lots, airport runways, tennis courts and more. Such versatile applications make this massive machine a valuable asset for various construction companies and contractors. One of the key features of this cylindrical finisher is its user-friendliness. The equipment is designed with operator convenience in mind, minimizing the need for complex maintenance and operation skills. This in turn reduces training costs and increases productivity on the construction site. However, what truly sets the GOMACO C650F apart is its ability to quickly change configurations. The pin connection of sections allows for rapid adjustment of the frame widths from 7 to 17 meters and the finish widths from 5 to 15 meters. This means you can easily adapt the equipment to the requirements of a specific project, reducing the need for additional machinery and equipment. GOMECO C650F is a powerful tool that helps save time and resources in construction projects, providing high precision and quality in laying concrete on diverse surfaces. It's the ideal solution for construction companies aiming for efficient and professional concrete placement. The SLJ900-32 Bridge Girder Erector is an impressive engineering marvel designed for lifting and installing massive bridge girders and sections. It was developed by Hanjiang Heavy Industries Design Bureau and brought to life by the Wow Joint Machinery Company. Its purpose was to build railroad bridges on the 1700km road from Beijing to Mongolia. These bridges needed long spans, and time was limited, so the Chinese engineered this machine for the task. This colossal piece of Chinese engineering measures over 90 meters in length, 9 meters in height, and 7.4 meters in width. Essentially, it's a massive gantry crane with two carriers at its ends. Sliding beams support concrete sections underneath and provide mutual reinforcement while in motion. The weight of this giant is 580 tons, and it can work with concrete blocks weighing up to 900 tons. The machine is divided into four separate segments, each with 16 wheels that can rotate 90 degrees. It can move at a speed of 8 km per hour without a load and 5 km per hour with the load. Strangely, it is indeed a quite maneuverable machine. In recent years, bridge girder erectors have become increasingly popular, but initially they were created for the construction of specific structures. That is, the construction itself was tailored to the size and width of the spans, the bending radius, and so on. 
Sometimes several such machines were required. Subsequently, engineers made it possible for one bridge girder erector structure to transform into another in real time. The SLJ900-32 bridge girder erector was developed by a Chinese company in early 2011 and has since been successfully used in various construction projects worldwide. This equipment has proven its effectiveness over many years. JLG 1850SJ Telescopic Boom Lift A telescopic boom lift is equipment designed for lifting work platforms and people to height for various tasks in construction, maintenance and repair. It gets its name from the telescopic mechanism that allows the lifting arm's lengths to be extended or retracted depending on the required height and reach. The largest telescopic boom lift is considered to be the JLG 1850SJ, developed by the American company JLG. The most impressive feature of this model is its height. The JLG 1850SJ can reach heights of up to 58 meters. An additional advantage of this lift is its horizontal reach of about 24.5 meters, providing a wide access area. This giant also boasts outstanding load capacity and a basket capacity of up to 227 kilograms, allowing it to lift and service multiple workers simultaneously, along with heavy materials. The operator's cabin is equipped with modern safety and control systems. This equipment finds application in various industries, including construction, infrastructure maintenance, installation and repair work. The JLG 1850SJ stands out for its high performance and reliability making it an indispensable tool for tasks at great heights. It's worth mentioning another model. It's similar to the previous one in terms of its characteristics, but it surpasses the JLG 1850SJ in some aspects, while lagging behind in others. The Gini SX-180 telescopic boom lift boasts an impressive lifting height of 55 meters and a horizontal reach of about 24.5 meters, enabling it to work in hard-to-reach areas. Its load capacity is approximately 340 kilograms, allowing it to lift not only operators, but also various heavy materials and tools. The telescopic mechanism of this model ensures convenience and efficiency in operation. Modern control and safety systems make it an excellent choice for various tasks in construction, maintenance and repair. Like the JLG 1850SJ, the Gini SX-180 remains a reliable and high-performing lift for work at great heights. This compact and maneuverable lift is suitable for a wide range of tasks, ensuring safety and efficiency in the workplace. The Bowmag BW332 roller, developed by Bowmag, plays a key role in compacting road surfaces and soil on construction sites, contributing to the creation of high-quality and durable roads. The BW332 Deep Impact Soil Roller employs advanced soil compaction technologies during operation. This roller is primarily used on large construction sites, such as land restoration after open works, dam and dike construction. The unique design of the polygonal drum, the machine's substantial weight and the application of a special system for automatic regulation of the vibration device ensure high productivity and excellent quality in compacting soil layers, which can reach up to 4 meters in height. Controlling the BW332 Deep Impact Soil Roller is similar to operating a standard road roller. The operator is provided with a spacious cabin, with an adjustable seat. When working on the job site, the operator barely feels the vibrations. Despite its significant weight and large size, the roller exhibits good maneuverability and the ability to quickly change direction in confined spaces. High performance and reliability make the Bowmag BW332 Deep Impact Roller indispensable in construction and road infrastructure maintenance. Additionally, Bowmag is renowned for its innovative solutions and continuous product improvements, making its equipment a modern and efficient tool in construction. The Liebherr LB20 LRH100 piling rig, manufactured by Liebherr, is designed for efficient and reliable piling work. This equipment plays a crucial role in construction projects where stable foundations and structures need to be established. One of the key features of the Liebherr LB20 LRH100 is its high load-bearing capacity and the ability to work at significant depths, up to 30 meters. This enables the installation of piles even in challenging soil conditions, ensuring secure anchoring. The model is equipped with various modern technologies, ensuring precision and efficiency during piling operations. Operators can control the rig with a high degree of precision, 
which is especially important for accurate work, technical specifications, outstanding load-bearing capacity and the ability to work at great depths make the Liebherr LB20 LRH100 a sought-after piece of equipment in the construction industry, particularly when reliable piling is required to create strong foundations. Vogeli Super 3002 Asphalt Paver Whether it's road repairs or laying new roads, an asphalt paver is essential. Manual methods just won't produce the smooth and high-quality surface needed. The Vogeli Super 3002 Asphalt Paver is an outstanding piece of construction equipment specially designed by Vogeli for efficient and high-quality asphalt paving. It made its debut at the Bauma 2010 exhibition. One of the key features of the Vogeli Super 3002 is its impressive paving widths. This machine can lay asphalt over large areas. Once this asphalt giant managed to lay a strip that was 15.5 meters wide, essentially it paved a five-lane road in a single pass. This is particularly important for building wide highways and airports. In such cases, the model's profitability will be at its maximum. The Vogeli Super 3002 is also equipped with an advanced control and automation system, ensuring high precision and uniformity in the asphalt layer's placement. This guarantees that the road surface will be of high quality and durability, which is crucial for road safety and comfort. The Vogeli Super 3002 can work with thin concrete, asphalt concrete and gravel, providing maximum compaction in its paving. Its drive system with advanced adjustment ensures optimal performance under constant high loads. Efficiency, productivity and high-quality paving make the Vogeli Super 3002 an essential piece of equipment in the construction industry, capable of delivering reliable road surfaces in a wide range of projects. Introducing the world's largest mobile crane to you. Its name is ZACB01, and it's truly impressive and robust. This record-breaking mobile crane was created by the Chinese company Zumlion on a 12-axle chassis with 24 by 24 drive. The machine is almost 22 meters long and over 3 meters wide. It's equipped with a special balancing system that evenly distributes the load on its wheels while reaching a top speed of 75 km per hour, quite fast for such heavy machinery. The weight of the mobile crane is 96 tons, with a maximum lifting capacity of a whopping 2,000 tons. However, this capacity is achieved only when the boom length doesn't exceed 2.5 meters. The boom consists of eight sections and can lift loads to a height of up to 106 meters. The machine itself stands at about 4 meters in height. Stability during operation is ensured by four large extendable outriggers. The cost of this crane wonder is 140 million rubles, or 1.5 million dollars. It's worth noting that despite its record-breaking lifting capacity, the crane can only operate on a very level surface. The Komatsu D575A bulldozer is a massive piece of construction equipment designed and manufactured by the Japanese company. It grabs attention with its impressive specifications and capabilities. This tractor has been in production since 1989 and outperforms all its competitors, both in terms of power, reaching 1,150 horsepower, and in total weight, which is 152 tons. The Komatsu D575A's lifting capacity allows it to lift and move masses of soil and materials, ranging from 90 to 160 tons, making it an indispensable tool on large construction sites. Its enormous tracks provide good traction with the surface, allowing it to maneuver in various conditions. The machine's length reaches 11.7 meters, but what's most striking is its gigantic blade with a volume of 96 cubic meters. This is a special point of pride for Japanese engineers. Its blade, 7.4 meters wide and 3.6 meters high, can penetrate the ground to a depth of up to 805 millimeters in a single pass. Most often this giant is used in the mining industry, but it can also be used for road construction. The Komatsu D575A is capable of handling various tasks. Special attachments and accessories allow it to be adapted, for example, for soil loosening, trenching, surface leveling, or even lifting and moving massive materials. With these impressive specifications and capabilities, the Komatsu D575A remains one of the leading players in the world of heavy construction machinery, capable of tackling the most complex and extensive tasks. But in reality, the Komatsu D575A is not the largest bulldozer ever built in the world. The title of the largest still belongs to the Akko Dozer, 
an Italian tractor built in a single exemplar in the early 1980s. However, as this machinery is not in serial production, it falls outside the top ranks. The Dozer specifications were impressive. The bulldozer measured 12 meters in length, had a weight of 183 tons, and was equipped with two Caterpillar diesel engines with a combined power of 1,350 horsepower. Its blade, 7 meters wide and 2.7 meters high, may not be considered outstanding compared to the Komatsu D575A, but it's still substantial. Unfortunately, the fate of the Dozer took an unfortunate turn. The bulldozer was specifically built on the order of Libya, but due to sanctions imposed against the country, the Italian government prohibited the delivery of the machine to the client. The bulldozer remained idle until 2012, never having worked a single hour. Afterward, it was bought by a private company, where it was installed as a monument. Thank you for watching, and see you next time!